Hi, my name is John DeVore. Welcome to the channel. Today's a straight up record review and it's a record that I pulled out because uh, I just needed to chill out a little. I needed something to reset my brain. There's a lot going on here at DeVore Fidelity. Uh, we're expanding um, a little bit, so we're expanding our footprint and I've just been going through the absurdly difficult process of trying to get a demolition contractor in New York City uh, these days. But this week we have made a little progress and uh, I'm hoping that within a couple of weeks we will have done enough so that we can speed up production a little bit here and uh, just try to dig out of the back order situation. So when I finally had a minute to just relax a little bit today, uh, I pulled out uh, the Brahms String Sextet number one, Opus 18. And my favorite record of this that I have, and I don't have a lot of different versions of this. I have an RCA Red Seal collection that is the uh, that is both of the Brahms sextets. I have two. I have an older Westminster mono one of a Vienna group playing it, and then I have this one. Uh, and this one sounds lovely. It's the right pacing. Uh, it's just the one that, that I like the most. Um, it's an Armonia Mundi from the 80s, the 81 recorded, maybe released 82, I'm not sure, from France. So the string sextet is a little bit of an oddball uh, grouping. It certainly was in Brahms's day. Brahms is sort of mid 1800s. And the string sextet is usually, it is uh, like a double trio. So it's two cellos, two violins, and two violas. It lends the ensemble a little bit of, an, of a string orchestra feel in that there are many more things that are kind of going on and layering, uh, which is something that Brahms does very well. And what's nice at least in my opinion about the sextet is that it gives you it gives you something to sort of grab onto but it's not as big and maybe overwhelming as a sim as a full symphony can be i mean i love brahms first symphony but uh, which i think he did after this but sometimes i'm not in the mood for that big of a piece not lengthwise but just uh complexity wise it's just not maybe what my mind is craving. <laughs> and this just kind of strikes the perfect balance. Um, it's far more meaty than a string trio would be. It is like a quartet, but just with a, a few more things going on. It's a little bit more classical in feel than a lot of Brahms's work. Brahms is considered a, a romantic composer. And I always felt that this particular piece had a little bit more of this stripped down sense, sort of a more of a Schubert, more of a transitional classical to romantic feel to it. And maybe that was why I was drawn to it today. Anyway, it's a gorgeous piece, beautifully played on this. I'm sure there are a lot of really nice recordings of it. It is, it's, it's a beautiful piece. It's definitely the more well-known of the two string sextets that Brahms wrote. And maybe sort of the nicest way to to just ease out of the week and into the weekend. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye.